हेलो एवरी वन एंड थैंक्स फॉर वॉचिंग एडुपीडिया वर्ल्ड वीडियोज आई एम मनीष अग्रवाल एंड टूडे वील कंटिन्यू विथ टॉपिक ऑफ मोल कॉन्सेप्ट एंड इनफैक्ट वील कंटिन्यू विथ द लास्ट सेशन वेयर वी स्टडीड वॉट मोल इज एंड हाउ टू मेक द कैलकुलेशन रिलेटेड टू मोल्स ऑल राइट सो लेट्स रिविजिट द प्रीवियस सेशन इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी लुकड एट द मीनिंग ऑफ मोल and now we know that mole is nothing but a numerical number it refers to a bunch of entities and that bunch is actually a very large bunch in case of mole then we also looked at gram atoms and gram molecules and we saw that gram atoms is just another way of saying one mole atoms or two gram atoms is another way of saying two mole atoms similarly gram molecules is another way of saying mole molecules mole of molecules or one mole molecule is one gram molecules okay and we saw that this number mole is nothing but equal to 6.022 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 and this number we have to remember okay and it is also called avogadro's number in this session we'll just look at two different examples to further get a understanding of the concept of mole all right we already studied some examples in the previous session so now let's look at some more of them example 1 okay you have three mole of urea molecules all right given that you have three mole of urea molecules you have to calculate three different things from the given information first you have to calculate number of gram atoms of nitrogen all right urea will just look at what urea is and then we'll know why there is nitrogen and hydrogen and oxygen in it all right as well as carbon so we have to first calculate number of gram atoms of nitrogen then we have to calculate number of atoms of nitrogen and lastly we have to calculate number of moles of hydrogen atom okay let's see what each of this question or sub question means and how do we answer them so first thing to do here is to know what urea is all right to calculate the number of atoms we need to know the molecular formula of urea so urea is nothing but nh2 all right urea is nothing but nh2 co nh2 this is the molecular formula of urea so it has one molecule of urea has two atoms of nitrogen four atoms of hydrogen and one atom of carbon all right so one molecule of urea okay we'll write molecule in uh, short of way that is just m o l e c dot all right so one molecule of urea has two atoms of nitrogen okay and four atoms of hydrogen one atom of carbon and one atom of oxygen for the present question we just need to know the number of nitrogen and hydrogen atoms all right let's see what the question was we have three moles of urea molecules and we have to calculate gram atoms of nitrogen okay we have to calculate gram atoms of nitrogen so first we have three moles of urea now we know that meaning of one mole is nothing but one na okay one mole is one na so three mole this implies three mole is nothing but three na all right that is three into avogadro's number so we have three mole of urea molecules it means that i have Three times the Avogadro's number. These many molecules. Okay, so now one molecule has two atoms of nitrogen. So three moles or three Na molecules will have, let's say, x atoms of nitrogen. For now, let's make the calculation for first part only. So x atoms of nitrogen. now we simply use the unitary method that is we cross multiply so x is equal to 2 into 3na 
एक्सिस टू इंटू थ्री एन ए दैट इज सिक्स एन ए सो नंबर ऑफ नाइट्रोजन आइटम्स इन थ्री मोल यूरिया इज सिक्स एन ए बट वॉट डू वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट नंबर ऑफ ग्राम आइटम्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन वी डू नॉट हैव टू कैलकुलेट नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट इन द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट नंबर ऑफ ग्राम आइटम्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन सो दिस हियर वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन ऑल राइट हियर वी हैव कैलकुलेटेड नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट ग्राम आइटम्स दिस इज नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स सो हाउ डू वी कैलकुलेट ग्राम आइटम्स अगेन यूज द यूनिटरी मेथड वी नो दैट एन ए नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स एन ए आइटम्स इज इक्वीवेलेंट टू वन ग्राम आइटम ऑल राइट वी नो दिस ग्राम आइटम इज नथिंग बट मोल आइटम्स वन मोल आइटम सो एन ए नंबर ऑफ आइटम्स इज इक्वल टू वन ग्राम आइटम सो सिक्स एन ए आइटम्स is equal to let's say x number of gram atoms again cross multiply so x times na is equal to 1 time 6 na so x is nothing but 6 hence we have 6 gram atoms of nitrogen okay so this answers our first question that we have 6 gram atoms of nitrogen all right so this was the first answer number of gram atoms of nitrogen is 6 second part of the question is calculate number of atoms of nitrogen now this part we have already solved okay we have already solved it here we saw that number of atoms of nitrogen is 6 na all right let's see okay we saw here number of atoms of nitrogen so this answers our second part and this answers our first part all right so it is quite obvious if gram atoms is 6 then number of atoms will be 6 times avogadro's number because 1 gram atom is 1 avogadro number so 6 gram atoms is 6 avogadro numbers all right now let's look at the last part now it should be easy for us the last part ask us to calculate number of moles of hydrogen atom we have to calculate number of moles of hydrogen atom let's see here we know that one molecule of urea contains four atoms of hydrogen all right so okay we know it from the formula two atoms and two atoms so total four atoms in one molecule this means one mole of urea will contain how many atoms of nitrogen one molecule contains four so one mole will contain simply x is equal to four moles all right you can directly see or you can cross multiply okay x into one molecule is equal to na into four so x is equal to four na so one mole of urea contains four moles of hydrogen all right this is four na or four moles of hydrogen okay so one mole urea contains four mole of hydrogen we have to calculate moles of hydrogen in three moles of urea okay the question asks us to calculate moles in three moles molecule so three mole molecule of urea will contain how many let's say x so one urea one mole urea contains Four moles, so three moles will contain x. Again, cross multiply, so x is equal to three into four. That is twelve mole of hydrogen. So our answer is one mole of urea contains four mole, and three moles of urea will contain twelve moles of hydrogen atom. All right, so it's pretty simple. You need to practice more such questions from your textbook. you can either use the ncert book or any other physical chemistry book all right any other physical chemistry book covering grade 11 syllabus okay they will all have such kind of questions let's look at another example now how we know the answer to this question let's look at another example 
example 2 so example 2 says that we have a closed container which contains only the molecules of sodium carbonate all right the closed container contains only the molecules of sodium carbonate so we are asked to make some calculations given that there are certain number of sodium atoms okay to understand the question let's first look at what sodium carbonate is, is okay so let's see what sodium carbonate is so sodium carbonate is let's see na2co3 all right this is the molecular formula of sodium carbonate so it has two atoms of sodium one atom of carbon and three atoms of oxygen together they form one molecule of sodium carbonate now we can better understand the question all right so we have a closed container containing only molecules of sodium carbonate so our container has only na2co3 in it such that there are 3.011 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 atoms of sodium inside so this container has 3 0.011 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of sodium so based on this information we have to calculate number of molecules of sodium carbonate so in this case it is actually similar to the last question only now we have the information about constituting element and we have to find the information about molecule so we know that in the container okay this sodium carbonate is actually present in a closed container and we have been given that this container has 3.011 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of sodium sodium is Na alright and we have to calculate molecules of sodium carbonate so first let's calculate how many atoms are present in how many molecules all right so we know that two atoms of sodium two atoms of sodium are present in one molecule of sodium carbonate all right so we have to calculate number of molecules having these many atoms of sodium it's a pretty basic question let's say molecules of sodium carbonate are x in number so we can directly use the unitary method so two atoms of sodium multiplied by x is equal to one molecule of sodium carbonate multiplied by 3.011 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of sodium so x is nothing but 3.011 divided by 2 into 10 to the power 23 molecules of sodium carbonate so this is our answer all right so okay we have not converted into number of significant figures here 2 has only one significant figure whereas 3.011 has four significant figures all right so we have to round off the number to one significant figure all right you can do that on your own so here we have just shown the chemistry part of it that x is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power 23 molecules these many molecules of sodium carbonate are present with me in the container let's see the second part of the question second part of the question asks us to calculate number of gram atoms of oxygen so gram atoms is nothing but moles so basically we have to calculate number of moles of oxygen atoms okay gram atoms number of moles of oxygen atom present in the container so let's see we know that we have these many molecules of sodium carbonate okay we know that one molecule of sodium carbonate has three atoms of oxygen 
from the molecular formula we know that one molecule has three atoms of oxygen so 1.5 into 10 to the power 23 molecules will have let's say x atoms of oxygen so directly using the unitary method x is nothing but 3 multiplied by 1.5 into 10 to the power 23 okay so that will be 4.5 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of oxygen so this gives us number of atoms of oxygen okay 4.5 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 now we have to calculate number of gram atoms of oxygen that is number of moles of oxygen atom so one mole has 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms okay so x mole will contain 4.5 into 10 to the power 23 atoms so x is nothing but 4.5 into 10 to the power 23 okay divided by this Avogadro's number okay how did we come up with this we simply cross multiplied we use unitary method so if you will see we have to use unitary method at every single step unless you can directly understand the calculation part okay you have to use the unitary method and we can directly see the answer will be x is equal to 4.5 into 10 to the power 23 divided by Avogadro's number these many moles of oxygen or these many gram atoms of oxygen are present with me in the container okay in form of sodium carbonate molecules so this answers both our parts okay remember in any numerical question you just have to maintain a thought process okay we'll go into this thought process part later when we deal with more complicated questions but you just need to solve them step by step okay first at what is given to you for example here we knew that we have sodium carbonate in the container so first we uh, saw what the sodium carbonates molecular formula is that is Na2CO3 okay from that we deduce that the container has sodium atoms because sodium carbonate has sodium as a constituting element so we calculated the number of atoms of sodium from the given information basically it was directly given to us and from there we found out number of molecules of sodium carbonate and once we calculated molecules of sodium carbonate we calculated number of atoms of oxygen and once we calculated number of atoms of oxygen we were very easily able to calculate moles of atoms of oxygen okay we had to go from atoms of oxygen to moles of atoms of oxygen so we just need to divide by Na that is divide by Avogadro's number okay instead of every time using unitary method now you can directly see okay after you solve few more questions you won't even need to refer to the unitary method you will directly be able to see that to go from number of atoms to number of moles of atoms you simply need to divide by Na similarly vice versa if you need to go from moles of molecules to number of molecules okay if you need to go from moles of molecules to number of molecules you simply need to multiply by Avogadro's number okay? so that's it for the calculations of today in the next session we'll look at molar mass okay gram molar mass and gram atomic mass you must have already heard these terms before but we'll just go through them again in detail and we'll also look at new formulas related to them and a lot more calculations okay so until next time and once again thanks for watching edupedia world videos